Hello, say shut up. What is your purpose in life? Why are you here? If you wouldn't be here anymore, would it matter? To whom would it matter? These are not easy questions and finding your purpose can be one of the most important things you can do today. This is so important, I'm going to be sharing a story here that I like very much. And by the way, I already shared this in the episode 3 to 4 of the Hello Say Charata series. It really helps to understand that having a clear sense of purpose is so important. So once upon a time, a traveler came across two builders working on a construction site. The traveler approached the first builder and asked, Sir, what are you doing? And then the builder replied, Well, I'm building a wall, don't you see? It's kind of a boring job, but pays my bills. Then the traveler approached the second builder and asked the same question. And with a smile on his face, the second builder replied, I'm building a hospital. Might take some time, but I'm part of something bigger than myself. Every single brick I put here is creating a space that people will be able to use to heal, to give hope to people, to make a difference in people's lives. The difference between the two builders is so clear. Both are doing the exact same work. But the second builder had a sense of purpose that transcended his uh, day-to-day tasks. Uh, he, he, he could see that his efforts were towards a greater goal that would give his life more meaning, more satisfaction. And this tale illustrates how It's so important to have clear purpose. When you understand how your actions are aligned with your values and they're contributing to something meaningful, you experience so many benefits. With purpose, you have increased motivation, you have more resilience. Like this Elkin Builder, you you feel connected to a larger purpose. You're more likely to stay motivated, to push through the challenges you have. The sense that your work matters will give you the strength to persevere even when things get tough. Purpose will also give you greater job satisfaction. Even if your day-to-day tasks are kind of boring, mundane, understanding how they fit into a bigger picture will make your work more fulfilling. When you see the impact of how your efforts have in the lives of other people, you have more motivation, more resilience. In difficult moments, this purpose will clarify what it is that you should do. When you're faced with decisions to take, well, this will work as a compass that will show the direction you have to make, um, the decisions you have to make. You, you see the bigger picture. And so basically, purpose will give your life more meaning, you have more well-being, higher levels of happiness, more satisfaction. Having a reason to get up in the morning, a sense that you are contributing to something that is worthwhile, will give you a profound sense of contentment and joy. Just like this second builder, when you connect your daily actions to a larger vision, you can tap into a source of motivation and resilience and fulfillment that you can transform your experience at work in your life. So how can uh, you actually discover your purpose? Let's work on this together. The first thing you have to do is to take the time to engage in a deep self-reflection. This is crucial because understanding yourself This will make all the difference. Without understanding yourself, you're not going to be able to find what will really resonate with you. You have to ask yourself difficult questions about what is important to you, your values, what principles guide your life, what do you stand for, what is non-negotiable. These values will be the foundation of your purpose. This is why we start with exercises about your values in our planning your life training which you can visit at arata.se forward slash planning your life. Next, you're going to be thinking about your passions. What are the activities that make you lose track of time? What is that you love doing, even if nobody would be paying you money for? Identifying your passions will help you to understand what gives you joy. 
Now, also consider your strengths. What comes naturally to you? What skills and talents that other people recognize in you? Knowing your strengths can help you to see where you can make the most impact. Reflect on your peak experiences. When was it that you feel most alive and fulfilled and engaged? What were you doing? Why were those experiences so meaningful to you? These moments can reveal what brings you the most satisfaction and meaning. Also, take a look at the challenges you faced. What obstacles have you overcome? What lessons did you learn? Your struggles can shape your perspective and give you some insight into your resilience, into your growth. After this deep reflection, then it will be time for you to seek inspiration and knowledge. You have to broaden your perspective. Take a look at other people's lives, explore role models, study the lives of people you admire, what are the qualities they have that help them to have a meaningful life. Take a look at the insights, the inspiration, engage with mentors, seek out mentors who have already done it, they walk the path before you, they will be able to offer you guidance and support, ask them questions about the journey. What are the lessons they learned along the way? They can help you to navigate your own path. You can go to workshops and events about personal growth, self-discovery. You can surround yourself with like-minded people. And they all can provide motivation and fresh insights. So basically, you have to research for inspiration. Don't think that you will come up with everything out of the blue on your own. The answers will emerge from nowhere. You have to read. But when I say read, don't just read superficial content on social media. You have to learn how to read good books and articles and resources for your personal development. The stories of people who found their calling. Exposing yourself to ideas and uh, different ways of thinking is so important so you can get inspired. Finding your purpose is part of personal development. This is so important. It will take you time and experimentation. You have to grow out of your comfort zone. You have to find new experiences, say yes to opportunities that are aligned with your interests, your passions, even if they're a little bit scary or uncertain. Take some classes, do some voluntary work, find a side project. The experience has a lot of value. True purpose is often found when you're, when you're doing something that is greater than yourself. So you have to find ways to align your strengths with actions that will give a positive impact in the world. Look for problems or challenges that your community is facing, the industry where you want to work at is facing. Where can you make a meaningful contribution? Finding your purpose is a lifelong journey of self-discovery or experimentation of growth. It requires deep introspection. Willingness to take action, a commitment to serving something greater than yourself. Remember that purpose is something that can evolve. It can change over time and it's okay that it will change. You can even find a temporary answer today for your purpose. And after this initial version, it will get better, more refined. Just trust the process and you will find uh, these new insights as you go along the way. You can start right now by visiting arata.se forward slash planning your life.